back, it's Christine again with The Artist Pod, and today we're going to talk about how to draw an okapi. So, let's get arting. Alright, so here's the okapi. They have um, several variations in brown. Um, so we're going to get started with this kind of darker brown that sort of stripes up his nose. They're definitely unique animals. So as I come on this edge, you can see that I'm looping it just that little bit. And just overlapping strokes. These are his nostrils, so as we come to that, I'll need to divide that line. When we get to the shadows and highlights, there'll be some shadowing as a result because they're, um, you know, covering this area. But for now, we're just filling it in. They have very horse-like features. It's like a cross between a zebra and a giraffe. Interesting animal. And then I'm going to leave a little gap so that I can see the edge of the nostril when we do the shadows and highlights. Now their brown is darker than this, but um, I was worried we were going to start getting into a range of color that was a little too dark, so I lightened it up just a bit. So we'll do this lighter brown. And then move on to the white. Now usually I don't mark out white, um, but I think that their white's a little darker than the white I typically use, which is why I opted to mark it out. They have, you know, these little horns while we're doing shadows and highlights. Got to make sure that these are prominent. And we're going to have the light source coming from, you know, over here. Like always, that means it's above and in front of, not next to or behind. And then it's just full pin pressure. So we're going to start down by the nose and fill it in. All edges, um, like always, all edges are in shadow. So this edge over here is going to be in shadow, but he connects in with his nose up in here. So not just where the color is, there should be um, some connection into this lighter brown. So it's really only once we get to this edge that we're going to start seeing some of that shadow kick in. And then of course under would also be in shadow as with this far side, in a deeper shadow than the other side. And this is just light pin pressure. Now under the nostril like this, you certainly would have um, some shadow. Obviously it's casting a shadow down, but there would also be some highlight because it's going to be um, picking up some of that. So as we bring it down, we're going to have a little burst of highlight. where it came out of that shadow, but I need to make sure I'm not creating a weird line underneath it as I do that. So right, we have the little horns coming up. So to indicate the bump, even in the um, We've got to do just that little bit of bumping here. Right, a little bit of shadowing. Sorry, bumping. Huh. On that back side, before we kick it back into this highlight here, we'll do the same for the actual horn itself. It's the same kind of color. 
Um, and then the other fur color too. Same is true on this side. There's just going to be that little bit of shadowing on this back side. And then highlight on this side. Right, so, you know, just like over here, highlight almost up to the edge on the, that side and then bring it over and fade that out as we get to this side. Now we'll switch to this light brown. Some of them don't have this. Um, some of them just have narrow strips, so the coloration seems to shift a little bit. It's not a clean break from one color to the other. Now right under the eye is going to have some shadowing, or right under the top of the eye because you're, you have, um, you know, the, the eye sort of loops back into the eye itself. Underneath you'll have that burst of highlight and then they have like an extra layer of um, skin around their eyes. So there'll be a little bit of shadowing in between before this highlight kicks in. Not a lot. And then of course again, you know, the edges in shadow. So making sure that this is all shadowed. They kind of have this ridge um, in their faces. That's why I put a shadow along here. The same, it starts kind of above their eye, so I'll be doing the same there. Now, I'm going to give a little burst of light under the eye against this cheek here. It likely wouldn't be there, but and we're going to give a little burst from this too, just catching the light. Just like we did on this side, right? I blended in the white. We do the same thing over here, very light strokes. Even on this side, it was very light strokes. I just layered up a lot of them because there's no clear line into the fur if you want to sort of blend it you want to draw it in layering up the white's strong enough it can layer on top very nicely do a little bit over here but right above their eyes there's a pretty clear cut off so i'm going to leave that um, without adding a lot a little bit of burst here not a lot but just a little all right now for this reddish brown. Now I'm going to give a little bit of shadowing. The light source is coming from above and in front. With a hump like this, you're going to have a little bit of shadowing hit just behind it. This is probably a highlight though. Just like with the other, I'm going to pull this into the brown, the reddish brown into the um, darker brown. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to erase a little bit more of this reddish. reddish brown and then leave a little bit more of a shadow just making sure all of this works and now um, because there's a couple of layers here it's made this brighter so I've got to brighten up the white right behind it otherwise it looks out of place 
As opposed to a lot of animals, their ears don't seem to have a lot of the white fluff coming up, if any, from what I could see. So we're just going to take this red and we're going to fade it out as we come to this section. And this, of course, is just the sketch and not the um, highlights and shadows yet. Just going to get the lines set. I also just noticed I missed his uh, chin, so I'm going to come down here and <laughs> fill his chin in real fast. The back side of the ear is going to be in shadow, right? Like over here. And then we're going to have a section in highlight. going to go into shadow more over here and then catch highlight through here because of how it's raising up. We're just going to fill it in and then taper it off as we get to this section. Light pin pressure though. I'm not putting full pin pressure because this is inside his ear. All of it would really kind of be in shadow. Now, um, this side of the shadow probably will be a little deeper, extend up a little higher, but if we don't, it won't be a big deal if we end up making it about the same size. We don't want to make it smaller because this is the shadowed side, so it needs to be the same size or bigger. All right, so, What's left of the eyes? Their eyes are dark enough that it's hard to see the color. I bet that it's a dark brown. But because it is hard to see the color, all I'm really going to do is the light flare. Um, so when we do it right, it's just sort of I take the select tool, the drawing select tool, lasso tool is I think what it's actually called in Photoshop, and I do almost a teardrop. Um, and then I'm going to come over here to the other side, do the same thing. We're going to modify this one though, and we're just going to fill it. Add the foreground color. All right. Yeah. And so we're going to come into this one. We're going to make it seem like fur's in the way. We're going to do that just by creating these jagged lines and then erasing it out. Makes it look like there's that reflection kind of partly blocking it. All right, so that is how you draw on a copy. I hope that was helpful. In the floating nether next to me, I have other videos of art tutorials I have done, and I will see you all soon. Thank you so much. Take care.